I love using different pastes and mediums when creating. Let's compare Prom Queen Lunar Paste with Cross My Heart Solar Paste. Now I have used Solar Paste a little bit in the last month or so since it came out and I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it does something different on the white cardstock than it does on the black, but I'm new to uh, Lunar Paste and I'm excited to try them. So I've got some white cardstock here. I'm using a palette knife and pushing the paste through a stencil. You could also just use your palette knife and put it right on the paper if you wanted a more organic look. I love the vibrancy and the color of the Lunar Paste. It's absolutely gorgeous. It definitely has more of a metallic look than the Solar Paste. The Solar Paste has more of an iridescence to it. Both of these pastes have a really nice creamy texture. It's really nice and easy to get it through that stencil. If you have never used paste with stencils before, you wanna make sure to clean off your stencils while that paste is still wet. You don't wanna let it dry on there. Look at how gorgeous that color is. I love the vibrancy of that pink. So you wanna just use some warm water and you'll be able to get that paste off that stencil easily. You could use a little bit of soap if you want to, but you don't actually need to just a little bit of warm water and then I use my fingers to kind of rub it off while I'm running the water on it. So I'm gonna do the same method with the Cross My Heart Lunar Paste, or sorry, Solar Paste. And you'll see that there's not a whole lot of color to the Solar Paste. It definitely has a lot more iridescence to it. It shimmers more in the light, but there's not a vibrant color to it. It's a lot more subtle. I think this would be beautiful, say on um, wedding cards or say baby shower cards or something. Like I said, it's very subtle, but here's where the magic happens with the solar paste. I love that you get two different looks on it with it, depending on your cardstock base. So the paste itself has got a bit of transparency to it and it's got some iridescence to it. And when you put it on black cardstock, you don't see the look of it right away while it's wet. You'll see it a little bit more when it's dry, how it has a completely different look on the light cardstock than it does on the dark cardstock. You also wanna make sure to put your lids back on your paste quickly so that they're not drying out in the jar. So here we have the wet paste on the cardstock and you can see a little bit of difference. It looks a little bit more pink on the dark cardstock than it does on the light cardstock. And now I've let it dry for a couple hours and especially that solar paste, you can really see the difference between the colors on the light cardstock and the dark, stock, dark cardstock. As it dries, you can see that pink really showing through. I love these beautiful pastes. They're really nice and I can't wait to do some more crafting with them.